Good morning. I thought I would invite you to join me in morning prayer up here at Camp Artaban on what is a lovely August morning. I'm using the app that happens to be on my phone. It's called Time to Pray from the Church of England. Let's take three breaths just to try to align ourselves with this lovely still morning and quiet our thoughts before we open our minds and our lives to God in worship. Let us pray. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one, and one in three, of whom all nature hath creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word, praise to the Lord of my salvation, salvation is of Christ the Lord. And the psalm today is Psalm 104, verses 26 to the end. O Lord, how manifold are your works! wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks upon the earth and it trembles. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will make music to my God while I have my being. So shall my song please him while I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed out of the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Creator God, send your Holy Spirit to renew this living world that the whole creation in its groaning and striving may know your loving purpose and come to reflect your glory in Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And here's a short reading from the book of Mark, for, uh, chapter 4, starting at verse 26. Jesus said, The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow, he does not know how. The earth produces of itself first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. Reading in that, um, in the Gospel of Mark, that reminds me that we've just passed Lammas Day, which is August the 1st. And Lammas Day is the traditional agricultural festival, a very old one, on which, oh, there goes the generator's up. It means breakfast is soon. Artaban's on a generator. So all, all of the, uh, the power that we have that doesn't come from heaven above comes from a, a noisy generator over there uh, just by the dock. And uh, it feels noisy when it goes on, but you get used to it soon. So we've just passed Lammas Day, and it's a traditional, long, long, long-standing agricultural festival in which the first fruits of the harvest, typically corn, are, are ground up and used to make a loaf that is often taken to church on the Sunday as, an, as a celebration of the first harvest and um, thanksgiving to God. And a Lammas loaf is, it comes from the words loaf mass, so Lammas Day. And we've just, as I say, we've just passed Lammas Day. And in reading the gospel about 
or this reading about the earth producing of itself, the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. Um, it makes me wonder what our lives would look like if we gave our very first harvest to God and our very freshest energy and the first, our, if our to-do list, if the first items were all about um, what we can do to further God's kingdom here on earth in, in our small ways, in our um, big ways, but if we gave our best energy and our best of ourselves to God first instead of seeing what we have left over at the end of the day to do God's work. I wonder what kind of world that might be. So that's what I'm going to be thinking about today. Jesus said, I am the true vine. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit. And I invite you to bring all your prayers and intercessions to this time together. And let's pray together that this day may be good, holy, and joyful. We pray to you, O God, that we may offer to you our worship and our work. We pray to you, O God, that we may strive for the well-being of all creation we pray to you, O God, that in the pleasures and pains of life, we may know the love of Christ and be thankful. We pray to you, O God, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in communion with all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We pray to you, O God, now let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. invite your prayers for all who are holidaying in this place, in this province, in this country, for all who are desperate for rest but can't find any, for the campers here at Camp Artaban and the staff as they enter into a month of children's and family camping. Camp Artaban has been in Christian ministry here for over a hundred years. They appreciate your prayers. For all that is heavy on your heart, for all that gives you lightness and joy, we offer this to God and we are grateful that God hears all our prayers. Eternal light shine into our hearts, eternal goodness deliver us from evil, eternal power be our support, eternal wisdom scatter the darkness of our ignorance, eternal pity have mercy upon us, that with all our heart and mind and soul and strength we may seek your face and be brought by your infinite mercy to your holy presence through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And together, let us say the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May God bless the work of our hands. Amen. And may you feel God's blessing today richly, and may God be with you and all you love, today and always.
Amen.